Hey ladies and gents, welcome to the Pez Universe version 7b option file install tutorial for the PlayStation. This tutorial is for those that are doing a complete fresh install from scratch. If you have installed option file A, then check out the other tutorial in the description of this video, which explains how to go from option file A to option file B. Option file B includes absolutely everything that's in option file A but it adds the 21 and 22 updates such as kits, stat updates, transfers for some of the bigger teams. For example, the lone players are returned to their clubs. You'll find Aguero starting life at Barcelona. Sancho and Vran will be featuring at Manchester United and some of the players who have improved over the last year are also given a stat boost. In the bottom right corner, you'll find some of the teams that have been affected by these changes. So you want to type in Pez Universe and head over to the Pez Universe website, which is this one here. And then you just want to go in to member hubs, select your member hub. Obviously the gold members get the file a little bit earlier than the silver members. So select the relevant hub that you are. Then you just want to click on enter hub. This one here over here. So where it says V7 hub, just click on the enter hub button. Now, as we're installing option file B, just make sure you note down the password before clicking download now. Input the password that you were just given and then click unlock file and that will set off this download in the bottom left hand corner. Head over to your downloads area where you'll find your WEPES.RAR file. Now if you right mouse click and you don't see the extract file button or extract here, then what you want to do is just make sure you go to my WinRAR tutorial which is in the description below. Just click extract here and that will extract it to the relevant WEPES folder. And while that's doing that, just grab your USB stick and put it into your PC or laptop. Now your USB stick may have an existing WEPS folder in it or some files. So just make sure you delete that out. So once that's done, just navigate back to your downloads and then just either drag or drop, or you can literally right mouse click, click copy, go to your USB stick, right mouse click and click paste. Okay, so once that's finished copying over, you then just want to go to the bottom right hand corner, click this little arrow, click on this little USB symbol, and then click eject. Okay, so boot up your PlayStation and then head over to settings. Then you want to go down to storage. And then you want to go to saved data. And then select your PS4 games if you're on the PlayStation 5. head down to season update click this little button here go down to edit data tick that box and then there might be a backup data as well just select both of those click ok and then click delete and then click ok okay now you just want to back out to the main screen and then launch eFootball Pez 2021 season update Okay, now go across to settings, go to edit, click yes to create edit data. Click OK. Then go down to import export. Go down to delete images. Click on strip out, select delete all images, click OK, click yes. Click OK. Strip S, delete all images, OK and yes. Click OK. T 
team emblems, delete all images, click OK, click Yes. Click OK. Competition emblems, delete all images, click OK, click Yes. Click OK. Manager photos, delete all images, OK and Yes. Click OK. Stadium image, click delete all images, click OK, click Yes. Click OK. Sponsor logo image, delete all images, click OK, click Yes. Once that's finished, click OK, go back one, and then go to Import Team. Click OK, and just make sure you've got your USB stick inserted at this point into your PlayStation 4 or 5 or Pro, and then click on your USB stick. Recommend a branded USB stick. I've got a link in the description of this video if you if you want to find one, but um, I recommend the SanDisk. Pretty reliable. Now you want to select all the national teams. So anyone with NTC, basically from NTC downwards to NT. Keep going down. So there, that's where it ends with Wales. Okay, so all those NTC and NT, any prefix like that is a national team. So once you're happy, you selected all those click go to detailed settings make sure you tick both boxes very very important and click OK I'll leave a timestamp in the video to skip this
Once that's finished, click OK. I go back to import team. Click OK. Select your USB sound disk. Now you want to press square to select all these teams because this is going to be the quicker way to do it. But then you just want to unselect teams we've just ticked. So NT Wales. So anyone with NTC or NT as a prefix, just untick all those. Okay, so once all those are deselected, you should have all these at the bottom and everyone above NTC should be ticked. Click go to detailed settings. Make sure those both boxes are ticked again and click OK. And the reason we do this is because if you don't do this in the right order, the stat updates from the national teams will overwrite the stat updates for the club team. So basically, I think Maguire is a good one to look at. He will be rated 87 if you've done this correctly. Otherwise, the England rating will overwrite his his uh, Manchester United rating and he'll be back down to 85. So just, just be sure to double check that and make sure you've installed this correctly.
Okay, once that's finished, click OK. And then you want to go down to Import Competition. Click OK. Select your USB stick. Press Square. Go to Detailed Settings and click OK. Once that's finished, click OK. Press back. And then you want to go to competition structure. Now you want to go to draw size and then set the Bundesliga and J1 League teams to 18 teams each. And then you want to navigate to Europe. Press left bumper and look for Schalke. Press left bumper again and then swap them out for this team here, Ferran, then right bumper, select Bayern Munich, left bumper, and select Mold, and then right bumper, and select Bayer Leverkusen, and then select Salzburg after pressing left bumper. Then go back, and then you want to go to Asia, then press left bumper until you get to the J1 league. And then you want to swap out this team here and press left bumper. And swap those for FC Tokyo. Press right bumper. And then select this team up here. Press left bumper. And select Vassal Kobe. And then right bumper. And select Melbourne. Press left bumper. And then select Yokohama F Arenas. There we go. Press back, press back again, press back, click yes. Go to kickoff, local match, select the controller. And it's important to remember we need to turn off the live update. And to do that, all we need to do is press the R3 button on your controller and go to live update off. So if we look at Manchester United and Chelsea, we can then go to the strips and just check the latest kits are installed. And there we go. There's Manchester United's and there is Chelsea's home kit. OK, so if we go to also the game plan, we can also see the latest signings. So the likes of Varane and Sancho in the squad for Manchester United. So, you know, Pez Universe are doing some incredible work and there's going to be some more updates to come so stay tuned i will be bringing out tutorials for those i think it's version 8 and version 9 that are coming um hoping looking well i'm certainly looking forward to the new venetia um t-shirt hopefully that's going to be included in one of those because that looks absolutely incredible anyway that's all for me ladies and gents thank you for joining me and hopefully you found this tutorial useful if you did don't forget to smash that like button and thank you for all your support cheers guys bye bye